Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It is Tuesday morning, October 4, 2022, and it is now my third day of being isolated due to COVID. And uh, still positive this morning, but the Lord Jesus, because of the passivity, <laughs> look at that, the cross, the mighty cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am healed by His stripes. So it is just a matter of time for my healing, and I believe and I receive because it is past tense. The Lord said, you are healed. Amen. Amen. By His stripes, I am healed. And so... I look forward for the positive cross, <laughs> the sign of the cross for God, not the positive sign of the COVID because I am crowned with, crowned with life. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, so so good, Lord. Yes, so awesome. Yes, so wonderful. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Today, what God's word for us today, it says here that holiness is not the way to Christ, but Christ is the way to holiness. Indeed, Christ is the way to holiness. Charles Hayden Spurgeon. Mm. Yes, Christ is our holiness. Amen. It says here that October 4, of course, 2024, it says here that when we do whatever we do as unto the Lord, even burdens become blessings. Amen. Thank you, Father. It says here also that whatever you do, work at it with all your hearts as working for the Lord, not for mean since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward it is the Lord Christ hallelujah you are serving amen thank you father it's in Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 to 24 Hallelujah. Father God, thank you, Lord, for your word. And bless this one, Lord. Yes, I am positive again. But God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that the Lord Jesus Christ, because of his mighty cross, that's the positive mighty cross, I will be healed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Come, let's partake the bread and the cup. Hallelujah. Father God, as we partake the bread and the cup, we remember you. We do this in remembrance of you, Father, of what you did on the cross for us. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are my healer. Amen. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was braced for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Past tense, healed. Amen. I am healed, Lord. Amen says grandma and grandpa now in at the hospital father we are healed from this covid we are crowned with the crown of life amen amen thank you father oh hallelujah jesus thank you lord amen thank you lord for this cup of the new covenant for the forgiveness of our sins lord hallelujah and for our protection as well thank you lord jesus amen Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, for the partaking of the Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper. Amen. Yes, Lord, we also pray for our be beloved family, relatives, and friends. It's my beloved and I pray for all of them. Also, thank you, Lord, for this anointing oil. Anoint me and my beloved and sis, our loved ones on the top of our head to the sole of our feet. Anoint every part of our body, for our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Beautiful inside out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come, let's pray for protection, Lord. 
safety of abiding in the presence of the Lord as we who dwells in the secret of the Most High. We shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right now, I am in the secret of the Most High. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. We shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will see of the Lord. He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him we will trust. Surely, He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers and by His wings. And under his wings we shall take refuge. His throat shall be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, and ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the Most High, our dwelling place, no evil shall be for us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for he shall give his angels to charge over us, and give us in all our ways, and in their hands. They shall bear us up, lest our foot will not dash off against the stone. We shall tread upon the lion, the cobra, the young lion, the serpent, we shall trample under our foot. Hallelujah! The Lord is saying that because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will set them on high, because they have known my name. They shall call upon me, and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. You will give us a long life. And so our COVID will be healed. We are healed, Father God. Thank you. And as we call unto you, Lord, as we pray unto you, you will hear us, Lord. You can hear our prayer, Father. Thank you. And you will, Lord, give us with a long life. Hallelujah. And you will show salvation upon us. Salvation not just going to heaven, but also salvation for us from our sickness and disease. And also, Lord, salvation, Father God, for our visions and dreams. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God, for your love and faithfulness. And it is good to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for everything ever our circumstances we give thanks to you oh god it is good to give thanks unto the lord for he is good and his love endureth forever oh hallelujah thank you father we praise the lord and we glorify you oh god we acknowledge your presence precious holy spirit the greatest power in the world in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen father god thank you yes lord you are the first and the last the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, Lord, this worship song is a prayer for my beloved. Hallelujah. Yes, God. He was the first, indeed. He was the first. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life. Yes, Lord. He was the Alpha and the Omega who live and die. Alive forevermore. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. He knows our works indeed. Let's be in faithful. Hallelujah. He knows our poverty. We should endure. He knows our tribulation. We should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. He who has an ear, yes, Lord, let him hear, hallelujah, what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes it, eternal life, and he who is faithful, receive the crown of life, yes, God. As you are faithful to you, Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown crown of glory. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. The birds are here. They're hungry. And the letter on, the yellow one will come later. Thank you, Father. It's raining. And also sun. There is sun and the rain earlier on. And so, this is so important for us to take care of our body because of the weather. God protect our loved ones, our family, relatives, and friends, every one of us, and beloved and I. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for today. Oh, we praise the Lord. We glorify you, O God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Come on, Amal. Let's continue on reading God's word in the book of... Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the book of Samuel, chapter 3. Come, let's continue on. 
reading. For the God as for your devoid, help us to understand. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father. As we continue to read your word, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord speaks to Samuel. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel served the Lord by assisting Eli. Now in those days, messages from the Lord were very rare, and visions were quite uncommon. One night, Eli, who was almost blind by now, had gone to bed. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Ella and Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle near the ark of God. Suddenly, the Lord called out, Samuel. Yes, Samuel replied. What is it? He got up and ran to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, Eli replied. Go back to bed. So he did. Then the Lord called out again, Samuel. Again Samuel got up and went to, to, to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, my son. Eli said, go back to bed. Samuel did not yet know that the Lord, uh, uh, that the Lord, know that the Lord because he had never had a message from the Lord before. So the Lord called a third time, and once more Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? Then Eli realized it was the Lord who was calling the boy. So he said to Samuel, Go and lie down again, and if someone calls again, say, Speak, Lord. For your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to bed. And the Lord came and called us before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, Speak, your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, I am about to do a shocking thing in Israel. I am going to carry out all my threats against Eli and his family. From beginning to end, I have warned him that judgment is coming upon his family before forever because his sons are blaspheming God and he hasn't disciplined them. So I have vowed that the sins of Eli and his sons will never be forgiven by sacrificing or offerings. Samuel speaks to the Lord. Samuel stayed in bed until morning, then got up and opened the doors of the tabernacle. As usual, he was afraid to tell Eli what the Lord had said to him. But Eli called out to him, Samuel, my son. Here I am, Samuel replied. What did the Lord say to you? Tell me everything, and may God strike you and even, and even kill you if you hide anything from me. So Samuel told Eli everything. He didn't hold anything back. It is the Lord's will, he, Eli replied. Let him do what he thinks best. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him, and everything Samuel said proved to be reliable. And all Israel, from Dan to the north of Beersheba in the south, knew that Samuel was con confirmed as a as a prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh and give messages to Samuel there at the tabernacle, and Samuel's words went out to all the people of Israel. Wow. Thank you, Father God. And as the Lord, you are speaking also to us through your words. Hallelujah. Through the Bible. Just like what you did to Samuel. Father God, thank you. Because the Holy Spirit in us. God, help us to listen to you when you call us. Father God, to be faithful, to honor you, and to praise you, O God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are with us, in us, through us. In you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Yesterday, it says here that, Meanwhile, the boy Samuel grew up taller and grew in favor with the Lord.